It's Sunday morning on CBS, and here again is Charles Osgood. You can see some off back in there flitting around. See the tiny little flitting around back in there? If these folks are lucky, they may get a glimpse of the holy grail of butterflies. This butterfly, whilst very, very small, is really sensational and enigmatic. It's kind of like the Mona Lisa of the butterfly world. This is Bahia Honda in the Florida Keys, home to the only known colony of the butterfly they call the Miami Blue. Oh, there, there she goes go. opening. Go. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, there you go. Until recently, it was feared this once common butterfly had become extinct. None had been seen for about a decade. Then, back in 1999, a butterfly watcher thought she'd spotted one. She took some pictures. She sent them to me. I came down the next day. Jeffrey Glassberg, president of the North American Butterfly Association, raced down to the Keys from New Jersey. They were Miami Blues, and so we were incredibly excited that this butterfly was still here. The North American Butterfly Association decided to try to get the Miami Blue endangered species status on an emergency basis. But that's a tall order. And what could be a greater emergency than one colony left in the world? Um, they ended up not listing it simply because I believe that it's the case that the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is not listing any species as endangered unless there's a court order and we hadn't gone to court yet. So we then turned to the state government. In December, Florida came through at least temporarily. But permanent endangered species status could be a lot more difficult. And here's one reason why. And we spray for mosquitoes. And because of the fact that butterflies are insects, they are affected when we spray for mosquitoes. It turns out mosquito spraying is a hot button issue now here. A lot of our money has come from tourism, and people don't want to come to a place filled with lots of mosquitoes. So we're trying to weigh, you know, between the ecology of butterflies and tourism. As Alana Edwards sees it, the Miami blue is like a canary in a mine, warning us to be wary of overdevelopment. Which brings us to what could be another culprit in the Miami blue's demise. Each butterfly has a specific plant that it lays its eggs on. And if you don't have that plant, you're not going to have the butterfly. So as soon as we start interfering with the landscape, you're no longer going to have the butterflies that are native to that ecosystem. But what some folks call overdevelopment, lots of others call progress. And endangered species protection for the butterfly could pose some serious restraints for developers. It means you can be in serious trouble if you go out and catch one. Yeah, disturb it or, or injure it or capture it or, or try to sell it. Or, or even harass it. Exactly. Happily, this little colony of Miami Blues had the smarts to take up residence in a state park. Oh, look, we may actually have one coming in for a landing. Oh, yeah. Still, you can look, but don't touch. Dr. Jared Daniels and Akers Pence have been commissioned by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to study oh, the Miami maybe, Blues. We can maybe see a, a freshly laid egg. They're the only people authorized to handle them which is easier said than done. So this little tiny thing here is the egg, right there. If this is my finger, think of how small the caterpillar has to be. Think of all the dangers that that little tiny caterpillar has to face in its life to become an adult butterfly. Even a raindrop is a threat to that small of a little creature. As an insurance policy, Daniels and Pence harvested some eggs to bring back to their lab at the University of Florida. It's probably from egg to adult, it's probably about three to four weeks. With the survivability being better in captivity, you can potentially ramp up a fairly large population in captive conditions fairly quickly. Which sounds ideal, except that reintroducing the hothouse butterflies to the great outdoors is risky business. I'm not sure this butterfly is going to get saved. I, I hope in my heart that, that it will. We're doing everything we can to save it. And if this sounds like much ado about one little butterfly, consider this. It's part of our biological heritage. So even if you don't care about it, understand that maybe your grandson or daughter might really care about it. And it, once it's gone, it's gone forever.